It's time to start the video. Let's start off with Samoa. On a more positive note, Samoa's doing pretty alright for itself. They live on a tropical island away from the rest of the world and the rest of the world enis. And they live on an island that's made up primarily of their own indigenous people. So they're not a marginalized indigenous group. That's pretty good. Refreshing. Don't get used to it. But for the most part, Samoans and the Samoan indigenous people are doing pretty well for themselves. What do you know about the country of Samoa? Hmm. Uh. Not many of you people know anything about Samoa, but there's one thing, there's one Samoan that you love. Dwayne? If you smell what the rock is cooking. Johnson. So if you ever have seen the tattoos on his back, is that you have seen a traditional Samoan tattoo. Polynesian people are responsible for tattoos and even the word tattoo. So if you look more into Samoan tattoos, you find that there's like deeper meaning to it. Just because you think, I like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I should get a tattoo just like him. No, unless you're Samoan because that's cultural appropriation. Because these tattoos have deeper meanings to them. So, um, for example, um, you can have a, a house symbol that is representative and the wearer of that too is very hospitable. So, but enough about tattoos, there's way more to these people. Let's take a look behind the curtains of this tropical paradise. Samoa has a little bit of a spending issue. Month of March of 2016, exports from Samoa were valued at 8.6 million. Um, and imports were valued at 70.7 .7 million. So there's a trade deficit of So that's not great at all. Samoa has a population growth of about 1% each year, either going up or down. It matters worse because of stuff like natural disasters. They don't often rebound because uh, not many children are born. A lot of the babies are born male. In fact, there are so many males born that by the year 2050, the population is estimated to be heavily weighted towards men. Time to talk about Tibet. Let's start off with the Tibetan Plateau, the world's third largest uh, storage of ice water, nicknamed the Third Pole. I don't know about you, but there's only one pole that I need, and that's Poland. Stop, stop, stop you see, the Chinese government is treating the Tibetan people like garbage. The Chinese government is responsible for diverting the flow of water coming out of the plateau away from Tibetans and towards Chinese nationals. This has had an extreme negative effect on Tibetan agriculture. To make matters worse, China is rerouting rivers. They're also cutting off water to other countries in around Asia, uh, places like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and more. Hey, you wanna stop being a jerk? No. In China, mining uh, is a big deal. Uh, China is the world's largest producer of copper and the world's second biggest consumer of gold. Bet's reserves of copper and gold are worth nearly one trillion dollars. The people of Tibet generally want Rangzen, which means independence from the People's Republic of China. Hey you, get out of my country. No. However, the spiritual leader, Dalai Lama, opts for another approach. The Dalai Lama recommends that Tibet remain a part of China, but gains more control over the country's own affairs. So this is called the middle way approach. Clever name. The Tibetan government in exile claims that Tibet has wrongfully lost their independence and is currently under unlawful occupation by the People's Republic of China. If Tibet is an unlawfully occupied nation, then Beijing's movement of settlers from the city of Beijing to Tibet would make the People's Republic of China liable to a crime under the Fourth Geneva Convention. And that's pretty serious. The leader of Tibetan Buddhism 
is in exile in India, and that is the aforementioned Dalai Lama. Uh, because of Tibet's devotion to the Dalai Lama, the government of China regulates and oppresses religious activity. Possessing an image of the Dalai Lama is punishable by incarceration and torture. T Tibetan Buddhism is a unseparable part of Tibetan culture and stuff, and the their leader, the Dalai Lama, is highly revered. Hey, are these countries similar? No, not even a little bit. Samoa is really cool. People are not oppressed. And Tibet is a living nightmare. Thanks, China.